everyone, it's Christine here. So we're working on the signature too. And I'm just going to do a few more pages. Um, so this one. I'm thinking I'm going to add a bit of lace. What have I got here? Just want to add a little bit here to this. Um, or I've got some ruffles. That's nice too. It's got sort of the goldy colour in and it fits in with that that sort of theme. So I think I'll do that. I might do that instead of the lace. <clears throat> so these ruffles, I got them from um, Paper Inspirations. Okay, so let's just see what's the best position. Maybe something like that. I don't think I've got it seeping out onto that other side. Just give that a bit of a... Yep, so that we can handle that. That looks really good. And this piece here. Um, let's see where this goes. I might... So this is the whole piece. I'm thinking of adding this lace to the whole length of that. So let's, oops, my lace is running away. Let's work on this. It's um, just really thin, so it's quite nice. And I want it sort of like that. So the the glue will seep through. So I'm going to have to leave it the page out until it dries. So let's just put some glue down. Like that. go all the way along like that okay and yeah it's just seeping through all those holes so that's going to have to dry before I put it back in uh, I'm just going to cut this end off So that looks gorgeous. It just softens the edge. And I didn't want to do anything to these pages because I really just, I love this clay um, flowers that this lady creates. So, right. So I'm going to leave that to one side and that can, that can dry. So let's bring our journal back. Now I need something to remind me that's where it goes. I'll put this there so then we know. 
And so with this, I didn't want to do anything with these pages. Um, because I just I love the colorings of the even the food, the greens, the blues and the yellows. So I want to leave that. Um, so this page, again, I'm leaving that because that's an okay journaling spot. We've got a bit of blue here. Um, might do a bit of a, like a side tuck. Not sure if I want to use that one. Have a look at the papers that I've got. Actually, that's nice, isn't it? We just do a little bit of a side tuck. Doesn't really go with that. going through my papers not sure if you can see but um, I'm just trying to choose something that will fit in with these colorings but also at the same time because I'm extending this page out and covering up that glue there um, it sort of needs to fit in with that page as well so We'll just have a look at what we've got. I need something that's got pink and yellow on just so it blends in nicely. Honeycomb, it's like really out there. Be a bit too much. This one that looks nice. Let's play with this one. So I'm just going to make the height of the paper first. So I'll just put that over there. definitely use that isn't that gorgeous um, I'm not going to worry about cutting off that white edge but I'm going to cut this like white border like that now I need to work out this so that's going to be folded over I 
something like that. It's going to be like a tuck spot. Like that. And so we only need a tiny bit just to come over. So let's work on this side. This is what we need. I like that it comes up and meets that writing and that font. Love it. So... do I want? I want that little ladybug. So I could even go a bit further like it's quite a long way out though. I'll let me have a look. I might cut just on this side of the butterfly. Let's have a look. So just this side. So we'll put that down so we know where we're cutting because this first row is where we're cutting because that'll all be glued down. beautiful that's really gorgeous so right so we're going to do that There. So we've actually got both those butterflies and some of the flowers and the little ladybug. So it just makes that even a nicer page than what it already was. And that yellow comes in with the flower and you see it with the, the egg as well. So that's really cute. So that's what we're going to go with. So we'll just glue this edge down. just makes that a bit stronger and give that little bit of a notch just eyeballing it So we can glue that down. So I'm going to glue this edge down like this. Oh, actually, we could have even made it a double side tuck, actually. I wonder if I can still do that. I can, actually. I can actually put paper on that. So that's what I could have done. I could have made a double. I think I will. Let's see if I've got any scraps in my bin that I can use. What have I got here? That's something. It's got a bit of a picture on the end. On the back. going to make it extra strong but it just makes sense that I can make it into a tuck, tuck spot as well like that
a little bit skinny of a, a tuck spot, but it definitely, um, and that's really reinforced now. So let's work on this. So this is what it's going to look like. So that just goes over like that. And then we've got our other tuck spot here. A little bit of an overlap here. like that so we need to put glue up the top and there so along the top get the page like that and if there's any overhangs we can just cut those off and it looks like there's an overhang at the bottom here Okay, that's really gorgeous. I love that. Just got a bit of overhang here. Let's try and cut that off. Let's cut it this way. That is stunning and it just fits in so nicely with that blue font and it fits in nicely with the um, red um, paint circles as well. That's really nice. Okay, so let's put this page back in. It should be dry now. And this was our spot. Just lifting up this here and putting it in there like that. So you just see the lace here. And then it also follows through onto the other side. So that page is done. Probably do a little um, collage here because that's really good writing spots there. Um, but yeah, so that's that page. And we're going to leave that. And then that's what we've just made. That's really cute. Love that. So I think I'm just going to do a little, I'm going to keep this. I'm going to do just a little collage here. Um, <clears throat> got my, my um, little bit of a thing. Oh, I wonder if I've got, let me just grab. So I made some, um, did some rub-ons on um, some material. So I've got a few of these left, so I just wonder. That looks really cute. So 
it's really sweet too. I think they're the only ones that I've got left now. I like the idea of the butterfly because it fits in with the butterflies there. But don't know. just want this to be a bit like softer looking so what I might do is I've got a bit of this is an old pink sheet so I'm going to really um, get the edges ruffled get that all done like that so then it's really um, got lots of tassels I like them longer actually I'll see if I can get it Get it longer. Okay, that's better. That's coming away nicely now. It just softens, um, well, I find that it just softens that edge. Makes it just, um, how do we like that? I want to keep that word there, like that. And then I do want a butterfly. So let's see what butterfly we have that we can use. Butterflies came out at once. Okay. I'm liking that, actually. down like that like that that looks good and I was going to have that straight but I might put it on an angle like that down like that that can go like that and that can curl over I don't mind if that curls over that 
I can curl over as well. Like that. Okay. Okay, I'm happy with that. So I think that will be it for today. So we've just done this. We've done this two side um, pockets. Um, sort of wraps around the edge of the page. That's worked out really, really nicely. We've added the, a lace on this page, which goes right through to the other side. Um, and we've added the ruffle to this page, which fits in with the pink and the, the gold colour that's picking up. So thank you so much for joining me and um, take care and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.